Hey, what is up, guys? XMK Ninja here, leader of XMK Clan. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm bringing you a Black Ops 1 dolly cam tutorial because I noticed a few members in the clan don't know how to use it and it makes your clips look much better. And it's also for you know, uh, subscribers and stuff. And, well, yeah, uh, it makes everything look better. So, Audi hit this really nice uh, Cyclone Tomahawk. This is her uh, first person point of view. Uh, and then. I went to his theatre to record it for a top five and uh, it turns out he recorded it in like free roam like this. He like tried to follow the tomahawk in free roam and it just doesn't look like nearly as good as it does when you use dolly cam. Anyway, I play on default so uh, what I'll be doing is on default. Anyway, so what you're going to want to do is first of all you want to uh, find, find yourself or whoever you're... Uh, recording uh, that you want to go to their point of view first um, and then just record that segment so uh, yeah um, when they hit it you want to give it a bit of time so the titles like bank shot and long shot can uh, just disappear then once you're done with that just call it one I find that easier it doesn't really matter though uh, then what you're going to want to do for when you're following the tomahawk you're going to want to press triangle so you're in free roam. Then if you press R1 once, it goes into edit camera mode. Uh, so then if you want to uh, just place a camera down, then you just press R3, which is the knifing button on default. Uh, you can like just skip it forward by pressing R2 uh, to where you want. Just press R, uh, R3 uh, whenever, whenever you kind of need to. You want to do a lot and then it looks better if you, pre if you put more camera slots in. Anyway, so just follow whatever you're following, in this case it's the Tomahawk, and I find uh, it's easier if you um, do the camera right next to the Tomahawk, because when you go back in dolly mode, uh, when you actually go to watch it, the dolly camera is actually behind a bit, and it looks a lot better. Um, so as you can see, I'm just uh, doing it right next to the Tomahawk. Uh, if it's like a bank shot or something, you're going to want to go back a little bit so you can see it. And then when you are done with the, uh, when you're done with uh, recording, well, putting your cl camera slots in, just press R three twice. Then you're going to want to go back uh, to where all the yellow. Um, well, you want to go to dolly camera and dolly mode by pressing R one again. Then go back to where your cameras start, and then you can just record, and it looks like that. It's really nice. Uh, you may think that the tomahawk looked out of place and it, you know it didn't look very good in recording but as I said the dolly camera is a bit behind when you go to watch it back so it, it will actually look like this like a really nice smooth just the right distance away see the bank shot uh, and once you're done with that you just wanna go back uh, go back to free roam find the guy who died who you got uh, this guy, I think it is, um, yeah, this guy, and then all you want to do is just, uh, record him normally, his point of view, so you can, uh, show what they're seeing, um, so it doesn't, let, you know, you can just prove that it isn't really set up, uh, just name that three, uh, once you're done, just go manage segments, and this will be what it looks like. So yeah, much more professional. It look, just looks great. Um, when you go to edit, if you if you edit these clips, uh, you've got all the point of views and like the tumult being followed, really smooth. Once you're done with all of that, you just uh, go upload. Uh, you can press X and then rename it. I'll just name this one Audi. Uh, then just hit start and continue. Find whatever slot you want. Uh, I've recorded my fault, so five is okay. Uh, and then you're done really uh, that's just the tutorial so your clips look a lot better so I hope that helped and whoever else is in the clan uh, maybe just practice it and get used to it because it makes everything look a lot better and I'll see you on the next video guys